हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सीरीज टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाई लुक विजन फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज हाई लुक विजन फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी वॉट आर इट्स फीचर एंड फंक्शन दैन विल टेल यू हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल दिस ऐप ऑन योर एंड्रॉयड टी वी एंड हाउ यू कन फिगर द ऐप to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so let us start what is high look vision for android tv app actually is basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your android tv screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is that by by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but you can access all its feature like you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you can you can see multiple channel at a time you you control the ptz camera mean you are able to pan to and zoom you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take a backup of the recorded videos and many more now let's come on the screen this is android tv screen okay what you should do first just google it high look vision apk and set your orientation apk maybe you you didn't find set your orientation apk for that i make a separate video how to download and install set your orientation apk and give link in the description so you can watch the video after downloading the apks that is that's a copy in in your pen drive and first thing you should do you should open google play store and search for file manager plus and here is it is just open it i would install that's why it's showing the option uninstall so uh, when you install it first time you find the option install here just click install it is to automatically install and after that just click open this is the interface of the file manager just close it and insert your pen drive usb optical mouse and usb keyboard keyboard in an android tv you have a if if you have a single port on android tv use multi usb plug and your pen drive will automatically detected in file manager okay here you see that from my scan disk drive is detected now just go to the file manager just click click here and click apps and click on file manager and click open just click usb storage here you find two apk set your orientation apk and high look vision apk just single click on the set your orientation apk you should install it first i would install that's why it give me this option otherwise you didn't get now click new and click install and now click open and always set to in, into landscape mode and click okay why we do this step because it open app in landscape mode otherwise sometime it it open in op in portrait mode which is very difficult to handle and operate that's why we are doing this now i'll start install high look vision apk the single click on it this start staging first then it give the option of install just click install installation may take time after that will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature after installation there is a two step which is very important so do not skip the video please listen carefully otherwise your app is stuck in between and it is not going to be open and 
we use in this video we use optical or usb keyboard just because it tv inbuilt keyboard not working when we when we insert username and password will she will will definitely you will see in this video let the solution to be finished then we'll proceed deep. now it is installed just click done and now you have to take two two setting first is that go to this setting option and then go to the device preferences and then go to the security restriction and just click verify apps and click unknown source if you find high look vision just click allow okay now after that what you should do you should again go to the setting and go to the apps and select see all apps and find high look vision here it is high look vision just click permission and give all the permissions now click open click agree and you give link option that's why it, it is automatically selected india just click okay now click okay now here you find the option login and register just click login i have an account so i just login it and here it asks for a password and if you don't have account here you find the option register just register it by your own okay just click login now app is login what you should do you should add the device either from here or from top right corner just click on here here you find lot of option like scan qr code manual adding online devices i will tell you each and every option one by one just start from the square scan qr code here you see that it, is, it starts scanning but uh, but my tv don't have a camera so that's why now now the question arises how you get qr code answer is here when you log in your device just enter the main menu and then go to the configurations and then go to platform access over there you find qr code just take photo of that from your mobile phone and copy it into your pen drive okay once you copy in pen drive just select here help and just select your file manager and then then your pen drive and give access okay first way is this this now the second way Now just click on this plus button and click online devices. And here you find the device comes online. Let's click here. Here you find two option: add and add to high look vision server. So if you click add, then it will show only when you are connected with the Wi-Fi means local Wi-Fi. And if you are connected to high look vision, then you are able to access from anywhere. So just click add to high look vision server. okay just click add and here you find that it ask for a verification code now the question arises where did you get verification code just log in your device and go to the menu and go to the configuration and then get go to the platform access over there 
you find the option hit connect enable just click hit connect and over there you find the description key verification code just insert that verification code here okay now click okay and click next here you rename the device for example if you are adding home camera just put home if you are adding uh, office camera just put office i just just put test and click save and now it comes online okay just click here it comes online now will tell you one each and every option one by one here you find first option that pause and play button your video will stop and when you again click your video video will start playing and here you find the speaker option if your camera is audio enabled you are able to listen the voice from the camera if you want to close it just close it here you find the basic just click over if you click hd it become more clearer but less fluent but when you click again when you click basic it become less clear clear but more fluent so just click on hd so that it make more clearer okay now single click on the screen and here you find multi view options like here from view four view camera option single view camera option all the thing you can manage from here now zoom in if you want to digital zoom just click here single click on the screen and click this plus button you start that it's zooming okay again click it it become more zoom so in this way you can zoom in and zoom out now again single click on the camera you find the alarm options here you find this three line button which is not very useful if you want to play back just click here it will redirect you to playback page okay you can change the date time from time from here and see the recording this will give instant recording on the same day now after that if you find take a screenshot just click here it will take a screenshot you if you if you want to record then click here the recording will start I mean, you again click on that recording stop. And if you want to communicate with your device, means if your device is too big to communicate, it, just click here. And if you want to communicate with your NVR, DVR, whatever IP camera, just click here. But this my device is that does not support this function. That's why you get the error. Again, single click on the camera, and here you want PTZ options. Okay. so you can if, if your camera speed is at you are able to manage from here so this all about all the options now just back and will tell you more option now just click here and here you find remote configurations just click on it it says configure ddns first okay so when you click on this and set you use username and password of the device and after that your ddns is set now you are able to remotely manage all the thing like you control the bandwidth you take the hard disk how much recording is, is space is free and you can see the network bandwidth and rename the camera you even you can manage the camera brightness saturation all the thing from here okay here you find the device version and storage status you find that this is normal and just back it okay and here you find when you click on this me options whatever you take pictures and screenshot and videos all the come all the things come here and heaven you find that configure network options all the thing you can manage from here 
I'll just back it. Just click home again and now I do delete the device and will tell you another method of manually adding. Okay. Just delete the device and here just click on the plus button and here you find the manual adding. Here you find the two things like again like high look domain and IP domain. So if you want to access from anywhere then you should select high, high look domain and if you want to make C only in internal network within, within the Wi-Fi then you should select IP domain. When you select IP domain and when you select high look domain then both ask for a serial number. Now where did you get serial number? Even on the device, when you log in your device and go to the information over there, you find a serial number. Even that serial number is stick on the sticker on your device, but it's not a complete. The complete serial number is not that thing you enter here. Just hold down on the last character, and after that, eight digit, eight numbers are the serial numbers. So I note down my serial number, and here I should insert my serial number. This is my serial number, just click save. And now click add. Again, it asks for a verification code. Just enter the verification code. I will tell you that where did you get verification code. Just click OK. And click next. And click save. Now your device again I added. Just click here. Your camera comes live. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.